All right, well, here she is, John. Uh, this is your engine. And uh, John Budrope is putting this on a Kit Fox. And um, it's an R2800, brand new. And uh, just been mounted all up. We've got his engine mount made. We've got his oil tank made. Everything file for all, everything pretty much basic firewall forward kit. Uh, he'll sort his own propeller out. But here's his engine. It's looking really good. Uh, at the moment, we've just got a test TBI on it, but we'll have his original on it tomorrow morning. It's not quite ready, but we'll have that done first thing in the morning. So then we'll give the final stage of the test run on the, on his TBI. But for now, we're just interested in testing the engine. Um, so she's all mounted up and looking good. We've got our test club on. Our exhaust system running outside. Nice big oil tank there. Everything wired up. So let's uh, let's fire it up. I think the engine looks great. It's brand new. Current spec 2024 R2800 with Mark II TBI 40S throttle body. Anyway, let's fire it up, see if it starts. All right, so here we are outside the test booth, about to test John's engine. Um, so I've got fuel up there, plenty of fuel on the tank, and uh, plenty of oil in the, in the oil tank. So to kick things off, we can switch the master on, turn the boost pump on, mixture to full rich. Shut the throttle. There we go. Let's give it a crack open. That should be enough. Okay. Fuel pump's on. We'll just give it a dead crank with the magnet magnetos off first, just to make sure it's clear of any hydraulic lock. Okay, that's good. I see the oil pressure light went out there, which is a good sign. Right, I will flick the mags on. One and two, and away we go, clear prop. And the oil pressure's come up. Once the oil pressure gets the temperature, that'll drop down from about 400 there, down to about 300 kPa, which is very normal. Fuel pressure's good. Looks like we've got a problem with a CHT sensor. We'll just ignore that for now. Bolts are good. Okay, so that's the end of the test run for the 2800. Up John's engine, and uh, let's take a look at it. Now, you can see it's still hot. 
It's a bit sizzling. So the engine has literally just shut down. You can still hear it creaking as it uh, shrinks back to its normal size. Uh, yeah, that engine run went really well. Um, just coming in here now to check for some oil leaks, and uh, which straight off the bat, I can't see any oil leaks on the rocker covers, which I've been checking throughout the run. Let's see any oil leaks on the, the sump. Yeah, it looks really good. That little spot of oil there, that's actually coming out of the intake drain there. So you've got the auto ball draining the intake drains. That lets the oil come out of the intake pipes as it wells in there. I'll put a little catch tray under there in a minute. But uh, just checking for engine le oil leaks on the actual engine. And it looks really clean. And the engine ran fantastic. Made good power, idled smoothly. It's been running for a couple of hours now, so uh, that's generally good enough. I've had a few checks along the way. Uh, you see I've got the two scavenge pumps I've set up. Now, you don't have to run two scavenge pumps, but these days we, we offer two ports. Um, the bottom one there I've got hooked up to the engine scavenge pump, which is uh, in there. Where is it? There. See there? And then the, the one above it is an electric scavenge pump. And they're both sucking oil back to the oil tank, which is right there. Now that tank's way bigger than you'd normally put on an aeroplane, but on the test cell we run a much bigger oil tank so we don't have to change the oil as often. Uh, so that's what we do there. But um, this, engine, this engine stand must have run, oh, I don't know, 2,000 engines or something. I mean, it's, it's done a lot of work. It's looking a bit tardy, but it still does the job. We clean it from time to time. It, uh, but more importantly is the engine. So I can't see any leaks at all. So that's looking good. So it's very hot now. So I think um, we'll give it a mist for today. Uh, I'll let it cool down. And tomorrow, because uh, I've been working on this engine, preparing it for the test stand and getting it running most of the day. So I think we'll call it quits now. Let the engine cool down. And tomorrow morning we'll drain the oil out of it, do compression test, check the PSIU and have a good once over. And then uh, remove it from the test cell and prepare it for packing and shipping. Now this engine's going on a kit fox. And we're also fly supplying the customer an engine mount and an oil tank. And I think also the uh, the bump cow. So it's going to look fantastic. I myself have a kit fox. I absolutely love the plane. And it's particularly special with the 2800 on the front there. It makes plenty of power and turns plenty of heads. Which is always good fun. Anyway, so this is looking good. So yeah, all right, I'll uh, get this all ready tomorrow and get it all packed up. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.